G'day you good motherfuckers, the Butts Barn here and before we get started on this video I am in Sydney on October 6th and then at the end of October I am in Perth. I only have a few shows left this year, it would be great to see you live, I'm having a bloody great time catching up with all you absolute legends on the road. So. Go and get some tickets, bring along your gran, and we'll have a bloody good time. How about that? All right, this video is a tough one to make because the content in this video has been going super viral over the last week and a half or so. And it made me change my tone. Now, I've made videos about trans people before. I've made quite a few. Every time there's something in the media that a lot of people jump on the bandwagon of, I like to look at things critically. And I have suggested in the past that perhaps I wouldn't be able to date a trans woman because they probably, unless they've had the bottom surgery, and even if they did, they may have a penis. Now, I've said that before, and people get mad at me for saying those things, but that's just my preference. As much as I like people feeling welcome, regardless of their gender and their sexual identity and all those type of things, I don't want a cock in my mouth. Sorry about it. Call me a bigot, but having a big, veiny cock in and around my mouth ain't my cup of tea, all right? Just saying. Or at least that's what I used to think. I did. I thought it for a long period of time. I didn't know if I could be attracted to someone who is transgender. There are plenty of people who can, but it's just a personal preference for me. At least that is what I thought until I saw the most beautiful trans woman on the planet. And before I show you, please picture her in your mind. A high school teacher, beautiful hair, a gorgeous Bust! The type of teacher that 16 year old you would have looked at and thought maybe just one day if we meet outside of school we could be together. To excite you even more, keep imagining. Here's the top line of the article about the story that we're speaking about right now. Video footage and photos of a Toronto area high school teacher are blowing up online sparking a raucous debate about what educators should and shouldn't wear to work. Wow. Imagine the revealing clothes that she's wearing in the clips. Oh, there's clips. Oh, there's gonna be videos. This is so exciting. We see a woman with long blonde hair wearing what appears to be bicycle shorts. Oh, a bit of booty. Not bad. With various incredibly tight tops. Oh my God. Please show me this glamour already. There she is. Have a bloody look at her. Oh yeah, baby! Holy dooly, Ruben Wiki, that's absolutely unbelievable. Oakville teacher shocks students by wearing huge prosthetic breasts to class. That would shock me. Biological man was up until recently pretty well known as a man. And you walk in as a man and now you're a missus. Okay, fine, that happens. 2022, baby. But you walk in with giant prosthetic breasts, not breast implants, we're talking a big strap on chest. And I've done me research, they're expensive, even little ones are expensive. And let me tell you, you need to go on to Twitter or Google or whatever and have a look at the unblurred versions of these photos. The nipple erection that is happening through this beautiful gorgeous woman's shirt is Unbelievable. She looks like she's smuggling Christmas trees. It's unbelievable. That is the type of hot teacher I wish I had at school. Forget the fucking young PE teacher with fake tan and gonorrhea. This is my girl. The teacher is reported to be a transgender individual who previously went by a different name. In some photos uh, shared by students on Snapchat and later recirculated by adults on Twitter, the teacher's name can be written on the blackbird, blackbird, blackboard as Mrs. Lemonu. Lemonu? Lemonox? Lemonu. Excuse me, Mrs. Lemonu. I dropped my pen. Can you bend over in front of me and show me your enormous bust that is so ginormous it only pales in comparison to one other crevice and that is the Grand Canyon. Thank you, Mrs. Lemonu, for picking up my pen off the ground and now please pick up your giant milker titties up off the ground as well. I think the Velcro strap broke and now your titties are on the floor. It is apparent in many photos based simply on human physiology and in some cases sheer clothing that the teacher is wearing a prosthetic chest piece of some kind. Wow. They really needed to write in this article that it wasn't real? What are you fuck? Oh, we're talking about Americans here. Fair enough. Can I just say, get this woman an OnlyFans now. She would make an absolute fortune. 
Jesus Christ! You can even offer like experiences where you, you dive into the breasts and you disappear for six to eight weeks. Or what's that movie, the fucking one where that bloke, the fucking dude, because <laughs> I'm going to nail this, where he gets stuck rock climbing and, you know, he's got his hands stuck in there. You could recreate that in the breast. That's James Franco, right? In 127 hours. Get your hand stuck in that lady's boobs and you have to cut it off to get it out. That's probably something that could happen in real life. Little Jimmy keeps talking in class and so what does Mrs. Lemonu do? Picks him up by his fucking shorts, throws him down here and he dies. The article goes on. Images of the teacher taken on multiple days are now circulating widely, attracting the ire of anti-trans Twitter users for some reason who suddenly give so many Fs about Canadian high school teachers they've never met. I can't imagine why they care. Would it have something to do with the fact that this trans woman, who apparently, it, this is all real by the way, this isn't a troll. I've seen some things, I saw one post on Reddit that this particular teacher got in trouble last year for not being woke enough at school and then like this is like him turning heel. I don't know if that's completely true. But let me just ask this question. If this is just anti-trans, you know, conversation on Twitter. Would it be okay if I was a woman, I became a man, and I taught at a high school, and instead of having a strap-on chest piece, I had a big strap-on dildo that you could see through my pants, not erect, but just like a big, just a big floppy one, right? And you could see that through my pants, because this is what's happening here. You can see the entire breast with the shirts that this lady's wearing. Would that be okay? And let's not call her a lady. It's a dude with a prosthetic boobs on. Like, let's be serious here. I, I, I normally am very respectful of trans people and I like to think I would treat them how they would treat me. But in this case, fuck off, mate. Like, fuck off, fuck off. Like this is a, these breasts cost over $10,000. That's what I've sort of found. Like this is an investment in looking very, very strange. And some people have been saying that it's actually a fetish thing and I'll get to that in a minute. So this week, videos surfaced on the internet from a place called Trafalgar High School in Oakville, Ontario. That's right across the lake from Niagara Falls. These videos show a teacher called Stephen Hanna, who apparently has been employed at Trafalgar High for several years. Wait, hey, hey, there are no way that those fucking big skin bags are safe around that drop saw. There's gonna be milk all over the floor. As part of his costume, Hannah strapped on a pair of gigantic prosthetic breasts, each the size of a 10 pound watermelon. We're not exaggerating here. <laughs> Fuck it. That is unbelievable. That is absolutely insane. Let's just fucking take a moment to understand how much she spent on these cans. This is such a commitment. That Hannah's costume is based on the style of Japanese internet pornography, which translates roughly into English as exploding milk porn. So what's going on here? Did you hear that? I think I just heard all the lactose intolerant assholes all over the globe just pucker up at the mention of milk porn. Okay, this video isn't me attacking trans people. It's me attacking this crazy person. That's all it is, right? If you are a trans person living your life, doing whatever, even if you got a chest piece on, that's fucking fine. Just don't have it the size of a minivan. That's all I'm saying with giant nipples sticking out and actually do that. But just don't teach children. Hang on, Isaac. Why are you body shaming this woman? Surely no one thinks this is body shaming. Oh, wait, they do. Hang on. Ahem. Ontario teacher's prosthetic bus offers a lesson on body shaming. I cannot. I will not read that. Okay, I'll skim it really quick. When it comes to the teacher, uh, it's easy to fall into a philosophical sinkhole. Surely it would be acceptable for a cisgender teacher to wear a padded bra and to have a breast enhancement surgery, cosmetic or post-mastectomy. Yeah, it would. And it's fine to have breasts, but having breasts that are so big they look like a fucking keg and have nipples that I would assume would set off the fucking Israeli Defense Forces missile defense systems. Just saying, it's a little bit too much. Anyway, and insofar as any breasts of, uh, on a transgender woman are the result of artifice, artifice? Artifice of some kind. Is there a particular size past which they become obscene? Yes. This is the size that they become obscene. For a number of reasons. Number one, they would block a fire exit. Number two, they would stop global warming because they could block out the sun. So that's actually probably a positive. Number three, they are so big that they are visible from space. And that's just gonna distract people on the International Space Station. That's not good. In fact, they are so visible from space, I'm worried that the next rocket that takes off to go to the moon is going to end up like the Challenger because everyone's looking out the window at these giant fucking tits. You know what? Why we listen to me? I'm nearly fucking 30. I'm a boomer now. Let's ask what the students think. It's definitely causing a big debate 
added Owen Lipinanu, who's in grade 12. Some people are uncomfortable with it, and other people think she should be able to express herself how she wants. Yeah, it's okay, just don't do it in front of children. It's okay with me, it doesn't bother me. Yeah, because she's probably threatened to fucking drown you in her titties. I've never had the teacher. Shit, I feel like people are using it to be derogatory and whatnot. Shouldn't because it's none of our business. Of course it's your business. It's a bloke with bigger tits than anyone else alive. <laughs> it's more the nipples really, isn't it? That's, that's the big issue here. The t-shirt she wears is so see-through. Like, that's the issue here. Like, just fucking wear a jumper, bro, and you'll be fine. I feel like what people decide to do with their own body, it's their choice. Yeah, cool. Oh, we're going to wear the strap-on dildo then. All right, I'm going to get a degree in teaching kids, and I'm going to wear a big floppy dildo so you can see the outline of my cock and my pants. Is that going to be fine? It's my choice. It's my body. Huh? So basically, for anyone who thinks this is okay, this is a message from the rest of the youth and me and Australia. Fuck you to the moon. Be a good motherfucker. Peace in the Middle East. Mid-extinct. Toodaloo. Au revoir. Bye. Noot noot. Bye.